Hey guys, I'm going to try and do some more of this History Of series. It seems like it's been the most popular thing on my channel. Um, I actually got some triple digit views on a couple of them now, so I might as well keep it up and see what I can come up with and see if you guys like this uh, as I continue to do Star Wars characters. Um, I was doing Jedi's with the previous two parts of the series, but I'm going to change it up a little bit this time and talk about... Um, a little bit more about the main characters, but then again, if it keeps going, I can start talking about more of the secondary characters as well. Um, I chose today just because it's kind of an interesting um, person to me. is because I've been uh, doing more research, looking at different characters in Star Wars, different characters in just anything. And one of these, this character came into my mind, and I did a little research on him and um, just really did like the way, what I was researching and continue to. Um, enjoy the the research I did on this this individual. Um, actually, I guess it's not really a, much of a person, but it's, it is R two D two, the astromech that is, appears in all six movies and a lot in the extended extended expanded universes. Um, I'll just talk mainly about what I've read on Wikipedia today, and then kind of do more of a part series because I haven't had a lot of time to do a heck of a lot of research. To, and then write down and make it interesting. But let's get to it. R2-D2 was made in Naboo in 33 BBY. Um, which is kind of interesting because if you look at the Phantom Menace, it is it, it makes a lot of sense. And why he was on a, a, a ship with uh, Princess Amidala. Or Queen Amidala, whatever you want to call her. Um, and then, you know, save the ship from being destroyed. And then, you know, land on Tatooine, and there goes the story. But, you know, he, it's some of his physical features, he's, you know, he's an astromech, which he had, you know, two legs, and he stood, you know, a few feet tall, and he was blue and, or white and blue, I should say, and he just kind of communicated with some beeps and whistles, um, and only a few people actually could understand him without a translator. Um, and then I'll talk a little more about that later, but... The cool thing about R2-D2 is he assisted Jedi's from Obi-Wan Kenobi all the way down to Luke Skywalker in the films. I mean, the Expanded University helped a lot of other various individuals, but before and after that time period. But we'll talk about that maybe later. Um, R2-D2 had a lot of tricks on his sleeves, and you see him in the movies. He appeared, you know, that helps him appear in all six movies. He was able to help out the Jedi's in many, in many tight situations from being crushed by um, garbage, the garbage chute, the garbage little compactor, to just helping them uh, search for uh, Leia and, and, and other things in different films. He was very handy in a, in a tight spot, basically. I think George Lucas put him a lot in those spots so he can have the kind of the non-Jedi person helping out the Jedis as much as them helping out themselves. And it was kind of a, a, a droid that just did a lot for them. And also, he he developed a lot of close relationships with those Jedi's, as well as the you know the annoying C three PO, the protocol droid, that was built by Anakin, and you know becomes good friends with them, and you see that throughout the whole movies, as well as the different um, expanded universe series, as, as well as you know the movie that came out a little while ago. Um, and I'm sure we're gonna see him in the future as well, be um, friends with. You know, Luke's children and other Jedi that he helps train. Um, R2-D2 was, you know, just a amazing um, droid to be able to help out with, 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 within the movies. Um, he had various equipment that he was able to use, like buzz saws, electric pikes, uh, fusion welders. He can hook up the comms and help him um, communicate within the ships and other things like that. He, you know, he, he was able to fly with because he's a little bit of a rocket booster. Other things he can help communicate with was like a helicopter holographic projector um, to help them communicate with uh, Jedi's to communicate with other people as well as people in his party um, and he was pretty much can go anywhere he wants like I see as that rocket um, booster as well as his his little third leg that made him an all-terrain all droid I guess you can call it you know um, C-3PO had a little bit of problems getting up and down different things and he R2-D2 just helped him out and did all sorts of things that helped out just the people around him he was a pretty selfless uh, character in in um, Star Wars universe, 
there's a lot of selfish characters in there, and he was kind of one of those that just did everything for everyone else, not really for himself. And had a lot of cool personality behind him. Um, and there's always that joke that he was the most censored person in the universe because he only, well, I think every time he said something, it was just covered with beeps and whistles. And I kind of hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I probably talked a little bit fast in some parts, and I apologize. But if you guys tell me more people that you want to hear about, and even more research I'm going to do on the R2D2, I'll do more and create more audios for that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I hope I get a few subscribers off this. If I don't, it, it, I'm still making them. But feel free to subscribe and like this and do all that fun crap that everyone says. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.